Hey, welcome back to Milt Daily Homes. Chuck here, we have a list of 27 properties, so a nice big list. Uh, that's typically what happens is all the stuff that happened on the long weekend tends to get signed and updated on, uh, on the Tuesday after we get back. So today's Wednesday, we call it hump day. I'll do the hump day hump, come on, I'll do the hump day hump. It's actually a pretty good list, so let's get started. Last year, the uh, the, the price for a, a modern kind of renovated condo townhouse was probably 300 to 310. Now it seems like it's 320, 325. So we've got this one on Heslop here. Very nice visual appearance. Um, and that seems to be the story of 2015 is I wish I bought yesterday because, you know, even people that started with us in January, February, if they've, um, you know, if they've gone through, made a couple offers, things didn't work out, they're now paying more than they would have even a couple months ago. And so there's been very rapid appreciation. The nice thing is, is once they actually do connect on a property and, and get it with, uh, with a good offer is even by then is by closing time, it's usually worth more. So that's the kind of saving grace through the whole process. But um, it really, we're in an environment, we did a video about this maybe a month, month and a half ago where townhouses and even detached homes are going up a thousand dollars a week in Milton so you just can't save money that fast so it does make sense when the interest rates are low from a long-term standpoint to get in uh, a little bit quicker so anyway if the time's right for you that's just something to think about now our friend and design consultant Leanne Robertson by the way if you're looking for someone to help with any de interior design you definitely got to call her at 905-302 8204. She uh, she sort of thinks that I should start calling it the 60 plus crowd that likes this building. But I've I've usually said mature 50 plus uh, tend to like this building. It's quiet. Uh, the units are pretty big. This is a south facing unit uh, on the sixth floor. So you get the whole you get downtown and depending on where you are in the building, you can kind of go from CN Tower all the way to the escarpment. You get a real nice panoramic view. And they even have, what's impressive is they even have the original floor plans, and I can always tell because it's the, the, the green and white, uh, not photocopied where it turns into black and white. So that's always fun. 379 is, is probably a little bit higher. I mean, there hasn't been a sale in here in this range for a while. We sold one last year at like 350 something, and, uh, and it was a little bit bigger than this. So the way the market's gone, may not be in a bad range. Really like this one on Kerr Trail 425. It's a 1235 square foot townhouse with a finished basement. And if you like cupboards, this is the place for you. There's lots of cupboards. Uh, the uh, kitchen, you know, it's an open concept layout. Uh, upstairs, there's three bedrooms and one washroom. Obviously, lots of storage in here. Uh, they've done about as much as they can do in this front room. They've even added some storage and more cupboards right there. Uh, it's not a huge room though, so you gotta be careful with the size of your furniture, even some storage up here. Uh, they've really maximized the space. I mean, it, you've got lots right here, uh, built-ins. I mean, probably built-ins and shelving. There's at least, you know, ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 in this uh, property. And then you've got a built-in hot tub too. So built-ins, cupboards all over the place um, with the finished basement in this model. And it's a good street too. I would say that they're uh, they're looking great. There's a park just down at the end of the road. Actually a few parks within just a couple minutes walk. Nice place. This one on Farmstead should go pretty quick too. It's 430,000. It's uh, more than 1,500 square feet. There is a $66 a month fee. I know the floors don't match with the stairs. However, still a good deal. Uh, it's still pretty tasteful. I think the purple is actually reflecting off the cabinets. I think that would show up as, as a little bit more of kind of a, a, a black walnutty kind of wood. Bold colors in the rooms, but paint is cheap compared to getting a good deal on a house. And yeah, I like this one a lot. I mean, I've seen this model, even last year, this model would go 430, 435, 440. Looks good. 92 Lauren Scott's 549.9. Uh, so this looks like the same model as the one that sold over on Trafalgar Court. Uh, big wide open entrance. And I believe kind of behind the stairs, there's a little uh, ground level room. And the one on Trafalgar had a walkout. I don't see it in these pictures, but everything else leads me to believe it's the same layout. Uh, it's a bit of a narrow kitchen. 
some parquet floors. Uh, parquet is usually pretty low on people's wish list, um, but a nice big lot there too. The other one on Trafalgar, I think, went for a little under 540. So, you know, they could be okay at 549. The next best thing to a double car garage is having a nice wide driveway. So, overall, I think this one looks pretty good. So, if you like a home that is, according to the description, engulfed in beauty and charm, we've got to go with this one on picture. Uh, by the way, another word I don't like in descriptions is boasts. I, I, I don't understand how property can boast. I know a lot of agents love to use the word. I've put it up on Facebook and I said, please stop using the word. And people say, oh no, it's the best word ever. Let me know your thoughts. Send me an email. Let me know. Uh, it's an open concept layout. It's a big semi. Uh, you know, we're talking more than 2,000 square feet plus uh, the finished basement, when they put the approximate square footage 25 to 3,000, that's the total square footage in this house. And you're going to see one on Azelton in today's list that really isn't that much bigger than this one, and it's asking $100,000 more. So uh, this one by far, comparatively, uh, looks a lot better. Now, at first glance, this one on Pringle, I thought, okay, well, it's, you know, it's a madame house, you can tell from the outside. Uh, it's a bungalow loft, and there's really, I mean, in the description, they rarely offered is absolutely true. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen this model listed resale. Uh, I've seen it in the brochures, but I just assume nobody bought one, but I guess someone did. And, uh, you know, lots of pantry space in here. You can work with white cupboards. And the bungalows are uh, definitely one of those things that people look for. There's there's definitely a core audience that, that watches for them. This would be a, a direct comparison to something like Drury Park. You're not paying the, uh, the, the common element fees for the road. Um, overall though, for about a 1600 square foot, this would be a little larger than a lot of the ones in Drury. I think they did a, a pretty good job in pricing it. So they should do well and there's definitely an audience for it. Now this home on Tonelli, I sold this one years ago, so the buyers of this home are now selling it. Um, the uh, we've got this is the right angle to to display this home. It's called a Quincy Corner. A lot of people do it from the front door, that, or they do it on a 45. But in my opinion, this is the way to show. Hey, we got a double garage, and it's there's not many double garages at this size, about 1,900 square feet that are around well under $600,000. Hardwood floors. Uh, you've got, again, a white kitchen. You can work with it. Uh, even the black hood fan, it's easy to put a, a black appliance in there. Tiles on the 45, um, four bedrooms upstairs plus laundry. And as a, it's a bit of a wider lot too, but what I was going to say is as a special bonus, you can actually play chess or checkers on your front driveway. I assume they did that so you could park a car there, but I'm not sure if it looks wide enough. Maybe, maybe you could park a motorcycle. I don't know. Now this one on Nair, and it's actually the same price as Tonelli, and it kind of ups the ante with, uh, with green space. So you're not getting the hardwood floors here. Uh, the kitchen is decent. You could work with this. I would replace the, uh, the hood fan. I find anything on top of cabinets or on top of fridges never looks good in photos. I believe this one's around 1,700 square feet. So it's a smaller four bedroom. It's some green space behind. And uh, this one also looks very good. Saw this one on Hawthorne last night, 619.5. Uh, the agent called me. I mean, it was like it listed, literally, I was in there within a couple hours. Agent calls me and says, hey, we've got an offer on it. So that's how fast things move. And that's how much demand there is for a nice, older uh, Milton property. And so this one has an on-ground pool. You're going to see another example of that later in the list, but on-ground is kind of halfway between above ground and in-ground. Uh, nice deck around it, new garage door, new windows, new roof. Uh, the furnace looked pretty new as well. Uh, bathrooms and kitchen have been renovated, so it's kind of turnkey if the style is your thing. You can check the virtual tour link here, but uh, I thought they definitely priced it very well. It's on the side of Hawthorne that doesn't back on to, uh, to Bronte. The one right across the street sold in the 560 to 570 range. Uh, this one's obviously worth a lot more being on the other side, and I believe it's bigger too. It's nice, it looks good. I don't know how long it'll last, but check the pictures if you wanna see it. 
give us a call and we can see if it's still available. I'm going to show you this one on Azelton just because I, I talked about it uh, earlier when we were comparing pitcher. I, I just don't think they're going to get 649. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's big. I don't think the photos are, are really blowing anybody away. Um, it just doesn't seem like it's uh, it's clicking on the right cylinders to make a price like this happen. You have, you can get into some pretty substantial double garage homes in uh, in the mid 600s. So, semi-detached single car garage just doesn't equate to me. I like this one on Fitzgerald. You've got an all brick house. Uh, pretty sure Green Park built this one, and. Uh, Green Park never does high cabinets, and it, I, I always think when I see these kitchens, boy, you could have at least raised this up another foot. The things on top here, I, I tend to believe you should take them down before listing, uh, but I don't think it's going to drastically affect their life. Four bedrooms, you have four washrooms. There's two upstairs, one main floor powder room, and then you have one down in the basement. Uh, but it looks like they've, they've done a good job putting this one together. That's the big draw here though, is the pool. We haven't seen a lot of pool properties this year and this is prime time to sell a pool. Double garage, good location. You're, you're right in that Dempsey district. Go train, library, all the things we talk about. Uh, restaurants, go have breakfast at Sunset Grill. Home Depot's there, you go to the movie theater, go to the gym. It's all within walking distance. This one uh, uh, on Scott is a Livingston model. It's 3,300 square feet with the loft upstairs on the third floor. That's a lot of space for $695. We've seen this model sell for more than $800,000 on a quieter street and you know having some green space behind and with some more upgrades too. But I think the point is if you're willing to live with a home that maybe is a little bit more basic, uh, I don't think there's a better deal for the amount of size that you get. Um, I, I just, it's, it looks like it's close to Darien Scott. There's the plaza right there. Um, uh, it, if size is the most important thing to you, this is the one to go with. Got a nice character home here on Court Street. Now that the farmer's market has happened, uh, or, or it has begun, I guess, for the 2015 season, uh, this home would easily be walking distance to the farmer's market. Uh, there is a, it looks like a detached single car garage here. There's no inside shots though, so I'm kind of waiting for the inside. Um, these homes are structurally different than new homes. New homes are on a, on a wood frame construction, so the wood bears the weight of, of the, uh, the structure. This one, the exterior walls, the brick is actually the structural support for the home. So they're just built different. The foundations are different. The wiring, the plumbing, everything is different with a home that's more of a century style home. Anything built before World War II, you got to know what you're doing and you got to get a good inspector in. So anyway, I'm excited to see the inside of this one. Uh, I do like the location, A plus location. Uh, a lot of the custom builds happen more west of Commercial Street, but uh, it's still close enough to Main Street and it's still got nice surroundings that I think you're in a good spot. I don't know if anyone else would pay attention to this or if it would even be as noticeable in, in person, but the, the symmetry on this home is a little bit off. That looks larger on this side than this one here. Anyway, if that, I, I mean, it would always bother me if I, if I came to this home. What wouldn't bother me is the way it looks inside. They've done a nice job, uh, much more of a modern twist, um, much more contemporary, clean lines, although they have mixed it up with some older pieces. So I do appreciate that. I think it looks great, shows well. Uh, you've got your finished basement here, four bedrooms. You put your fence in, you're probably another maybe $1,500. You're sharing that cost usually with your neighbors. Um, anyway, I don't know. Would that bother you? Let me know. My experience is the higher you go up in a price range, the more particular people get, especially over a million dollars. You start to see that, uh, you know, even the wrong floor color can really turn someone off. Orange paint is not anything in that orange spectrum, uh, yellow, red, orange. It's a tough color for a listing. Now, if you had pillows on your couch or you had some, some uh, even if that vase was, was kind of an orange or a red color, that's fine. But 
wall color is a different story you gotta stay neutral and in fact neutral right now is off-white and grays that's the that's kind of the new thing um anyway so the tiles look good but i think that when you when you have this and then you have a more neutral tile and this and i don't know like it it can really sabotage i've seen it firsthand where someone walks into a home and says hey layout's good like the finishes but boy i hate this wall color let's get out of here and that's uh that's tough because it is an easy thing to fix and paint has such a, uh, a high return on investment the other thing that made me laugh with this one is that the lawnmower is just in the middle of the yard so they just said yeah i'll finish it later but take your take your real estate photos i'll i'll deal with the the lawn later and then finally we have at 1.5 million we've got a uh, 10 acre property lower baseline there's no inside shots uh you definitely want to do your homework anything on the southeast side of milton when you're talking about rural properties south and east there are a lot of plans for development there's a lot of change that will be happening i would say in the next 25 years so no imminent plans uh, as far as i know for probably the next five to ten years for this area but once you get past that you definitely want to look at uh, um, regional plans you want to look at uh, I mean, everything here is agricultural. Eventually, it's going to move to future developments and so on and so forth. So uh, from a short and medium term standpoint, you can definitely look at this one and say not much is going to change. But beyond that, you know, you really have to look and say, how long am I going to be in this house? So um, I like to see the shots, though. I think it's a good location. I think they nailed it in the description that you can get to a lot of places really quick from this home. So that is Milton Daily Homes for Hump Day Wednesday. And I wanted to give a special shout out to Kevin and Linda. I know Kevin's watched for a long time, uh, two of my absolute dear favorite clients. And I had a chance to, uh, to sit down with them last night. We had a lot of fun. So Kevin, Linda, thanks for watching. And to everybody else, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Daily Homes.